Hi, kids. Welcome back. Look at this picture of the on the cover of the book we're going to read today. What can you see? The lots of teeth, right? Well, actually, this is. It looks like a fish, right? But it's not a fish. It's a special type of animal that lives in the water. It's not a fish. We'll talk about it later. But let's look at the title. The title is Baby Dolphin's Tale. So this story is about a baby dolphin, and that's what this is. Remember, dolphins are not fish. We'll talk about that soon in the book. Let's look at the table of contents. Remember, the table of contents tells us what's in the book. It tells us the chapter name, and it also tells us where we can find that chapter in the book. Playful dolphins is on page two, so we're going to start with that, and we're going to talk about friendly dolphins, and then we're going to hear about a baby dolphin's tail, and then we'll see the glossary. And the index. Now, here's a new word. I'm not sure if we covered this before. Glossary. A glossary is a list of important words in the book. So we'll take a look at that later on page 12. And remember, I talked about an index before. Our index is also on page 12. Okay. Let's get started with playful dolphins on page two. Playful dolphins. Let's read together. Dolphins are playful animals. They live in the sea. Dolphins are good swimmers. Are you a good swimmer? Can you swim well? Well, dolphins are good swimmers. They're very good swimmers. Let's continue. They can leap out of the water. They can leap. They can jump. Out of the water. If you're swimming in the pool, can you jump out of the water? <laughs> Probably not. No mohimduro, right? Your feet have to be on the bottom. Then you can jump. But if your feet aren't touching the bottom, we can't jump out of the water. But dolphins can. They can swim really fast, and they can they can dive back in with a splash, right? Dive back in. We use in because they dive back into the water, right? So they leap out of the water and they dive back in with a splash. If you go running and jump in the water at the swimming pool, you give a, you make a big splash. Okay. Next, dolphins take good care of their babies. Take good care of. We saw that before. You take good care of something, that means you love it, right? You make sure it's safe. You give it food. You take good care of something. Your parents take good care of you. A baby dolphin is called a calf. Remember, in English, we have many different words for baby animals, depending on the animal. Remember a. Baby kitten or a baby cat is called a kitten. A baby dog is a puppy. A baby dolphin is called a calf. Many animals, many babies, actually are called calves. Cows, cow babies, are also calves. Elephant babies are called calves. Camel, you know, camel with the hump. Camels are calves when they're babies, and you know the giraffe with the long neck. Giraffe babies are also calves. Many kinds of animals that eat grass are called calves, and actually, dolphins are kind of related a long, long time ago, similar to cows. That same family split out, so all those babies are called calves. Anyway, calf. A calf stays with its mother for up to six years. Up to. Around six years, when the baby、uh, dolphin is born, here's mama dolphin here, right? Here's the mother dolphin, and here's her baby, the calf. Now the calf will stay together with the mama for about six years, from when it's born to about up to, up to six years, maybe seven years, but at least up to six years. 
That's a long time. They have a very strong connection. They love each other very much, right? So they stay together for a very long time. Friendly dolphins. Dolphins are friendly animals. They're friendly. If you're in the ocean and you see a dolphin, if you're very lucky, they might come up to your boat, right? And they'll, they'll make a noise, gah, 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 right, out of, the, out of the water. They're very friendly animals, and they swim with people, right? Sometimes dolphins play in the waves a boat makes. Look at this picture. You see the boat? It's making a wave, right? And the dolphin will play in it. Here's the dolphin leaping out of the water, and it will dive back in. They're very playful. They're very amazing animals. Sometimes dolphins swim with people. Wow, wouldn't that be great if you were in the ocean and a dolphin came? Don't be scared. They'll swim with you. I'm a scuba diver. Don't say skin scuba. That's Konglish. Scuba diving. <laughs> I'm a scuba diver. And in the Philippines, I went uh, diving and there was a dolphin. But it was, uh, it was a, a, a big park, right? And the dolphin came and put the nose, its nose, in our hands. Wow, very amazing. Okay. Sometimes people harm dolphins. Dolphins get caught in fishing nets. They get caught in fishing lines, too. So sometimes we can harm the dolphins. We don't mean to harm the dolphins, but the fishermen go out on their boats they want to catch the fish. They put lines or nets to catch the fish. Well, they don't know. Sometimes the dolphin will swim into the net. <gasps> That's terrible. And they will get harmed. Now, it's important to remember about dolphins. Dolphins are mammals, right? They are mammals. Before I said, this is not a fish, right? It's um, a dolphin, which is a special kind of animal. It's a mammal. But usually mammals, right, like us, we must breathe air. Dogs are mammals. <sighs> we breathe air. Fish don't breathe air, right? They can stay underwater. But dolphins have to come up, breathe air through their hole in their head. Did you know that? They don't breathe air in their mouth. They breathe air out of a hole in their head. And they, but they have to come up. If they get in the net, if they get caught in the fishing line, they can't go up. They can drown if they get caught in a net. So it's very dangerous for the dolphins, the fishing nets and the fishing lines. Right? So they could die. Okay? So, oh, that is important about dolphins. Dolphins are beautiful animals, playful animals, very friendly, but we have to be careful not to harm them. And dolphins are like us because we are both mammals. Okay, let's take a short break here. We'll come back and continue the lesson in a little bit.